why is it that diabetic patients who are on insulin therapy, who are on those antidiabetics or hypoglycemic agents like metformin, why is it that they are the same people who will, get, who will still get into amputation, who will still get kidney failure and therefore go for dialysis, who will still get brain failure, who will still die of diabetes, who will still go blind, who will still get heart attacks? Why do you think that is the case? Now the point is, most doctors are not treating diabetes. They are focusing on treating the symptoms of diabetes, which is hyperglycemia. Now drugs for diabetes, be it insulin or that metformin, what it does is it activates insulin so that it pumps blood glucose levels, which is hyperglycemia, into the cells. The question comes in here. Why is it that people are being given insulin therapy and diabetes drugs to pump glucose into cells that are already full of glucose? So where, are, where is this glucose going? What is the target of these drugs? Why are they pumping glucose into cells that are already full? That's the reason why I am questioning these drugs. And the therapy for diabetes, I am not disputing it. But I'm asking, why is it that we are fixing hyperglycemia and not the storage of glucose in the cells? Because once you clear this glucose that is stored in these cells, then definitely you will not have hyperglycemia because remember, some of these glucose cells, some of these glucose stirring cells are full and therefore they will start spilling some of this glucose back into the bloodstream. And that's why you're getting hyperglycemia. Again, if you're eating a high diet that is, a diet that is rich in carbohydrates, then you're raising your blood glucose levels. That means you're straining the pancreas. Okay? Because that insulin that you're producing is not enough. So if you go ahead and give me an external shot of insulin, where am I going to pump this glucose too, when the stores are full because the work of this insulin is to pump glucose into these storage uh, forms. So if I'm not working out, then my skeletal muscles don't need glucose. If my, if my liver is full of glycogen, then I don't have any storage of glucose. If my fat cells are full, so I'm already obese, I'm already diabetic for that matter. If I'm diabetic already means these cells are filled with glucose. So where am I taking that glucose to? When you start asking such questions, you start questioning the therapy for diabetes. Now the point is this. Diabetes is not fixed through drugs. Diabetes is reversible. You can reverse it. But you'll reverse it through blocking consumption of carbohydrates. That means you'll go to a healthy keto diet. Also, through fasting. Because once you fast, you're activating the insulin, the, the pancreas. Actually, you're making it not to overwork. So the little amount of insulin that it's producing will be sensitive. So you'll get this. Also, you will clear the energy stores in this because once you fast, your body is not relying on carbohydrates intake for glucose. Your body now shifts to breaking down fat to give you glucose and ketone bodies which are healthy energy sources. That tells you your insulin levels will go down and therefore you start burning the fat. And therefore you utilize this glucose in your blood and therefore you will clear all the glycogen in the liver. And therefore your muscles will start utilizing ketone bodies instead of glucose and therefore this will empty. Once they empty, a small amount of insulin is enough for you to recover. If at all, there's a rising blood glucose levels. Okay? So ask yourself, why is your father or your relative going through dialysis when he's on insulin that is supposed to reverse diabetes? And diabetes is the cause of that kidney failure. Okay? Why is it that we're using metformin and insulin at the same time? And even more diabetes drugs, we're adding on the doses, yet these people are not recovering. Why is it that you'll be told that you died of diabetes when actually you sticked faithfully on the drugs for diabetes? Why did you have a heart failure? Why did you have a kidney failure? Why did you have that numbness? Why? Once you start asking that, then you'll start realizing that you have to stop treating the symptoms and focus on treating diabetes. And diabetes is not high blood sugar levels. That is hyperglycemia. It is a symptom of diabetes and that is what your doctor treats. So we are, want to focus on what causes diabetes, which is a chronic carbohydrate intake, and also the storage form of glucose in cells. So we empty this. Once we empty that, we create more space for storage, and also we create more uh, fat burning so that the body shifts from glucose to ketone bodies.